Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve another problem in Tangency where we are told to reproduce this figure here. Now, this figure you see here, if I should zoom in, I am told to redraw this, right? Now we have distance from here to here. So the first thing first of all do, draw a straight line. So let's see that. So I'll take my C square, my T square, and I'll place it this way right and i'm going to draw a straight line this way so taking now the straight line i draw i'm going to pick a point on that straight line let's see this point here right let's see this point here so this point here i selected is this point here on my diagram this point here is that taking so from here to here is what 45 so I'm going to measure 45 from here. I'll measure to this point here will be what? 45, right? So that means from here to here is from here, from here to here, 45. So at this end of 45 here, I'll rule a straight line that will intersect, that will bisect this horizontal line here. So I'll use front line first. So I will take my C square, placing my T square in this way, in this manner, right? And I'm going to take my C square, I'll place it on my T square this way, and I'm going to draw my horizontal, my vertical line that will intersect there. So I'm having this with front line. Now this is where they meet. So this point you see here is this point that we have here, right? So they say the height of here to here is what six. So that is the radius. So I'm going to measure 6. From this point here, I'll measure 6 on my metal rule. I'll take from, I'll start from 2 or any value, any figure, value of my choice. So from 2 here, I'm going to measure this 0, this is 5, and this is what? This is 6, right? So I'll now place the compass at this point here, right, of my 6. Now I will get it to this point here of the horizontal line that again so in doing that i will draw my circle but i will use paint line to draw the circle you can see that how i'm going to do so this is a circle because if you look at the diagram very well this is just like a circle if i should trace it i have a circle here that's why i'm drawing the circle now, I want to get this arc from here to here. Now, if you notice, this circle is on top of this arc. Just like we're having something like this, and the circle is on top of the arc, right? So, this kind of one, you call it that it is what? External. And when it's external, you are going to what? Add. When the circle is external, this you are going to what add or you say that what this is like a port o anytime you say port two you have to what fill but it's better for you to use external right so you add so you are going to add this is radius 30 it will be 30 plus what six because the radius of this is what six so i'll come here measure 30 plus six that'll give us 36 so i'm going to come on my metal rule right and I'm going to measure 36. So from 0 straight down to this point here is 36. Right? Now I'll place it at this center point here. I'm going to strike an arc here. Right? I'm going to do what? I'll strike an arc. And this is the arc I strike. Now after that, the next thing I'm going to do again is that I'm going to from this point here, since there is no circle here, which is this point, which is this point on my circle, on my diagram here, this point here, right? There is no circle here, so I'll just use my 30 directly because this radius here is 0, so 0 plus 30 is still 30. So I'm going to do that, I measure 30 from here, measure 30 on your meter rule. Right, I'll measure 30 and a meter root. And I'll place it at this point. 
I will strike an arc and the arc will cut here. So where the arc cuts, I mm, will place my compound because what I'm actually trying to get is just this arc here. So I'm going to place my compass at that point that the circle, that the lines intersect, you can see. And I'll take it to this point that I need and I'll move it this way, you can see. So now I'm going to thicken it. You can see that? I'm going to thicken it. That's the first thing I'll do. Now the second one again that we have. So this is my arc here. Is this my arc here right so I want to do the up one now so the radius of this up one is what 35 but what do you notice is like I'm having something like this and my circle is what inside this circle is what inside so that's internal so in internal you have to subtract in external you're going to add so at that internal I'll subtract how will I subtract I'll say the radius of that of that arc 35 minus what the radius of this circle which is what 6 so 35 minus 6 is not is 29 so I'll carry I'll use my rule I'm going to measure 29 on my meter rule so from 0 here to this this is 29 here so the 29 here I place it here I'm going to come to the center of this circle here and I'll also bisect that 29 like this right so now i will not take the main circle because here the radius of this circle here is zero that is not showing so zero 35 minus zero is 35 so i'm going to measure 35 on my meter rule measure 35 on my meter rule this way so i'll just place it here i measure 35 at this point here right you can see that and i'll come at this same point here I'm going to try and act out cut here also. You can see. So in doing that, I will take my rule, my compass, this at this point, and I'm going to take it to this point here. So I'll gauge it. You can see that. So in moving it, I will have something like this, right? So I've done the second one, which is this. So I want to now draw this arc here. So I'll place my compass at this point and I'll take it to this point here and I'm going to complete that radius there. Is that taken? So in completing it, I'll have something like this. I'll have something like this. Right? So in doing that, this is what I am what I am having. So from this point you can now see because it's a circle. You are going to draw your center line like this. This will be a long one, short one, long one, short one, long one. Then I'll cover it up here also. I'll do the same thing. So in doing that, this is what I'll finally have. So this is what you have, right? So you can see this and you can also see this. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.